Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm Leslie. my favorites for you guys just because I will not be doing a favorites video after this for a long time I feel like I've been doing a lot of favorites videos like every time I come back I'm like here's a favorite here's a favorite and I'm not showing you guys how I'm using these products so more videos are gonna come where I'm going to be showing you exactly how I use these products and today I wanted to show you how I did like this glowy skin and my camera forgot to click um, film so I was like, I wanted to film this favorites video afterwards anyway, so I was like, oh my god, might as well just do my favorites and the next video I do will be showing you guys how I did this little look right here on my face. Alright, so today I'm going to be showing you a few products. I have a couple of hair products that I want to show you guys. The first one here is by Photogenic and I don't know if you guys have heard about this but I heard about this from my aunt and this is a beautician in a jar. So what it does is it coats and moisturizes, styles, eliminates sprays, reduces shrinkage, shrinkage, <laughs> reduces shrinkage, lays down edges, tames split ends and clumps curls. So that is what it does. This is a one product. Like this is everything you need in one. So this is how it looks on the inside. And what happens is that for me, I use a lot of products on my hair because I have natural hair, but when I use this product, I only use this one product. I realize that it helps with edges as well, so if you have thin and edges, it does help with that. It kind of helps like with growth. I've heard, I've, I've read that on the site as well, like people would come on and write in the comment section how great this product is. This do range for $35 a jar. Right now, I think they have this on sale, but it normally ranges for $70 and they have it on sale now you can get two for 60 which is what we did and my sister has one i have one my aunt ordered hers separate like we we have a lot of this in the house it's amazing and this is the only product that we use in our hair next thing i want to talk to you guys about here this is a can too this is shea butter for natural hair and this is a comeback curl for next day curl revitalizer now now what i've been doing is just when i do my wash and go i just put this in my hair and sometimes I use a little bit of gel just because I don't want to use a lot of this product but the next day when I want my curls to come back this is what I use right here and I just spritz this in my hair because if you have natural hair like mine you know that when you put your hair up like whether it's in like a pineapple or whatever it is that you put your hair in the next day it kind of like stays exactly how it is like it dries exactly how you put it up so what you want to do is sometimes I just shake it out and then I put this and it helps it to lay and it doesn't feel greasy in the hair like when you put on like um when you spread like other products in your hair to bring back your curls it's like they're really greasy and grimy and some products with this it also softened my curls like because if I use gel or any other product in it to do the wash and go the next day it's like really really hard when it dries this here is going to soften those curls and help it to drop really beautifully and it helps define the curls as well so that's what's really important and that's why I really love using this I'm back in that range where I'm like I'm trying to find I'm still a bit natural for what seems like forever and because I bleach my hair so much, I'm, con I'm constantly just trying a bunch of different products to bring my hair back or I just cut it off. <laughs> I cut off the ends and I start over. That's just me, honestly. But anyway, <laughs> that's why my hair never grows past the length it is now. Like, I don't know if you guys seen like sometime last year I did bleach my ends and I had to cut all of that off. So now I'm growing it back. depressing I right. want to talk about the foundation that I've been using this is the natural radiant long wear foundation everybody everybody knows about this foundation right but I normally don't use natural radiant foundation just because even though I have dehydrated skin and I would need radiance right I just don't like the look of it I prefer a more matte foundation and I prefer to put the glow where I want compared to like the foundation doing all the glowing all over the face I would prefer to just glow exactly where I wanted to but when I wanted to do like a dewy skin I was like, you know what? I really want to be like really dewy today and I tried it out maybe like three weeks ago I tried it out and I was like it looked so good on the skin it didn't look like that before 
and now it just looks really good on the skin I don't know if it's because I've changed my skin routine but it looks so good on the skin you have to use a few pumps of this in order to get like a really really good coverage just because it's a I think it's a medium to full coverage foundation I'm not exactly sure but I will have the information in the description box down below this yeah you have to use a few pumps of this and then the good and a bad thing about it is that the pumps come out really really small like I'll show you guys like this that's one pump like seriously that's like a little bit of spit like honestly so I run through a few pumps of these but I like the way that it looks on my skin uh, yeah it looks really good try it if you haven't tried it before and I've had this in my collection for a while I maybe used it twice before I started using it and I was like I hate you and that's just life and now I am in love with it so yeah moving on the next thing I would like to talk to you guys about here and this is a primer I should have talked about this first this is the makeup forever step one this helps me to be able to use this foundation properly if that makes sense so what I do is I use this only in my t-zone area like right like I don't know like my like what is it like um like my L area because <laughs> it's only like straight up like only in my forehead nose and my cheeks just because I want to glow how I would like to glow in those areas like if I put a little on my nose I don't want my forehead to be super glowy because it gets naturally glowy on its own or I don't want my um, chin to be glowy because that gets naturally oily on its own so I use the step one if you guys know that this stuff is this 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 didn't come to play this is the stuff that you use when you want to matte your face out like trust me I have I put everybody on this because everybody who has oily skin in my family put them on because this stuff is legit the shit <laughs> all right I want to talk about the glow that I have on right now this one here is a by Mac and this is the hyper real glow and I don't know what let me see, the name of the color that I have on is I don't know why they don't put the names on these things but this here is rosy glow now normally for me I would use the light of the party which is this one here because it's like it's naturally you would think like oh yeah it looks more gold it looks like more like my skin tone I'm a black girl like come on I need to use something that's you know dark right so I mistakenly put place this one on my cheeks you guys do you see that glow going on right now do you see how wet I look like by mistake I put on this and because I intentionally I my main intention was to put this one on and then I ended up putting on this one I'm a happy camper like I, I am so happy that I mistakenly put that on because now the combination that I have on my face right now with this and like the foundation that I have on like the glow is absolutely amazing all right so to create eye looks I have been using the majesty this is the makeup shop eyeshadow palette now I'm running through palettes and like individual eyeshadows like I'm trying to like stick to a palette one week and individual eyeshadows every day and I'll explain to you what I mean when I show you the individual eyeshadow but I like I found this one and I just kind of stopped I don't know like I just this one here and I don't I, I bought this eyeshadow palette it was a sale that they had and I think that I tried the gold one and Singria and I just I don't I think I didn't like the palette at all like I remember looking at the gold and thinking like the gold was it pretty it looked so like mustardy but in all honesty where in the hell would I ever wear this gold eyeshadow like seriously I don't know but all the other eyeshadows is what I've been loving like I've been using this one here I've been using clay is what I have on my in my crease right now only clay on my eyes right now and then I use a mocha a lot which is a really really pretty like do you guys see that that is so beautiful and then we have Sangria. The only problem with these eyeshadows is that it's a little bit powdery. But the thing about it is, is that this is a really cheap palette. Like, come on. Let's do Chestnut. Just like a reddish brown. I love that as well. 
and then this green here. I've worn this on my eyes before. Do you see that? Do you see these colors? But I've been using this for maybe over a week now, honestly, and I have to say that I'm truly in love with it. It's definitely continuing. Like I have to try all of the eyeshadows in order for me to move on. So yeah, love that. When I bought this bronzer, the mahogany one, when I bought this one from Sephora, I forgot that I had this one here and that I don't use this one, but I ended up purchasing this one because I like to spend money and I didn't look at what I have. So yeah, now I have two of these. But ever since I got like this really beautiful tan, I decided that I needed something a little darker. So this one is showing up on my skin. It's just showing up like really red and like it's, it's literally like laying on top of the skin. But this here is, let me show you the name. Like I did not know that these had names at the bottom, I swear. Like how could I never look at, like I've never looked at this palette. Oh my God, can I get it out? Okay, here we go. This one is espresso. And this one here is how it looks. Let me show you it on the side of um, mahogany. Now espresso is more like, even though in the camera it looks really, it looks like a light brown. But if you look at mahogany, it's more like a lighter red. Espresso is a lot darker, way darker than like in real life. It's way darker than mahogany. So that's why I like it. And I also like the fact that it has a lot more brown. It's of course, these are easy to blend no matter what formula they have. It's really easy for the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, contours for them to blend really nicely so that's why I like using them of course but I especially like this color for my skin too and it's like nice brown I look brown like I look like my color like I love that and I just came across it you know because I was like you know what I need something a lot darker I don't think I'm gonna switch I think I'm gonna stick with that all right I think that is it for my favorites I didn't have much favorites just because I just did a favorites last month and I kind of showed you guys, you know, all the stuff that I've had. And yeah, I don't want to do a favorites for a long time. For now, I'm just going to be doing like makeup videos and vlogs and stuff like that. Just kind of giving you guys a more personal look into my life. I hope you guys are having an awesome day and I will see you guys on Wednesday. Please do not forget to like. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Just going to let you guys know when I post my videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye my loves.